Today we're at the Order of Braces and I have with me here today two very special guests. This is my friend Blaine and this is his dog Penny. She is an adventurous pit bull you, who you might have seen out in Red Rock or maybe in Utah doing some hiking, canyoneering, and rappelling. We have Penny here to demonstrate a very important part of taking care of your pets. We do so much to give them healthy food, take them for their dental checkups, and give them plenty of exercise, but sometimes one of the things that pet owners can tend to neglect is their dental health. So Blaine, why don't you tell me a little bit more about what you do for Penny to take care of her teeth? Sure. So Penny is a rescue. I got her when she was somewhere between one and two years old, and when I got her, I can vividly remember just how white her teeth were, like stunning white, and I wanted to keep it that way. So from when I first got her, uh, we started with dental hygiene. We started with probably the most simple and common version, which is just some treats. Um, so the first one here, um, everybody's seen these, these are dental sticks. The ones I use are made by iHeart Dogs. Incredible company, they give, uh, give a ton back to the homeless dog community. I'm also a uh, big fan of Greenies. Uh, it's a uh, well-grounded brand. Uh, they make um, all different size for all different size dogs and specifically for dental milk. Also very common are toys. So harder rubberized toys but rather than like the smooth surface of a, of a bone. Um, these will have uh, lots of edges, almost kind of like toothbrush and bristles. And the idea there is when the dog is using them, uh, they can, it's going to make full contact with the gums, all of the teeth, and really help to stimulate some pain. Um, from there, the, there are some a uh, little bit more, I think, robust solutions if you can get your dog to that point. So, when you're working on your way towards using a toothbrush with your dog, uh, they may or may not be comfortable with that. So, start with something like peanut butter or baby food, something you know the pup's going to enjoy, and you just work on getting to the point where you can be close to the dog without a whole lot of resistance. Um, from there, you can graduate onto something like this, which is similar to a thimble, but it's got uh, essentially a toothbrush on this side. It's uh, ridges on this side as well. And if you don't have something like this yet, you can start off with just a small, uh, damp cloth to wipe their teeth, or even just some gauze. And then from there, the next progression is something like this, a, a gel or a, a toothpaste. You do not ever use a human toothpaste. Um, because if the dog swallows it, it's not going to be safe. Uh, dog toothpaste are generally flavored with something that they might like to eat more, um, such as meat. I'll see if I can get Penny's attention right now. And um, I don't know if you can see from there, but um, she's done this enough to where I can actually say, Penny, let me see him. Let me see him. Let me see him. And she starts to lift her gums so that she can actually allow me to, to get in closer to her teeth. Um, we've been doing this for a few years, so it's a little bit easier, thankfully, at this point. The final progression is moving on to a toothbrush. Um, different about dog toothbrushes, you'll see they've got a little bit different shape. And the goal is ideally to brush your dog's teeth once a day, but that's probably not realistic for most pet owners, so aim for at least three to four times per week. And then just like it's important for us to go see the dentist at least twice a year, it's important to take your dog to the vet for their dental checkup and cleanings as well. So, Blaine, I know you take Penny to the vet about once a year. Um, they actually put her to sleep and they do a full dental checkup and cleaning. The sad statistic is that over 85% of dogs over the age of four have some type of gum disease and this can lead to some infections that can spread into their bloodstream and cause them to have some serious Problems. So guys, make sure that you bring your dog to the vet and you, know, you might have dental anxiety, but your dog doesn't know that. And so it's really important when you're getting in the car that you're not excited about it, that it's just like you're going on any other fun outing because if you're feeling anxious, your dog is going to sense that from you and they're going to start to feel anxious as well. With that, I think Penny needs her treat of the day. Yeah. <laughs>